Hello, my name is Elizabeth Court. I work for Kitsap County Department of Community Development. And today I'd like to share some facts with you about Kitsap County. Our topic is housing. The first thing we need to know before we talk about housing is to get an idea of the number of people who live inside Kitsap County. Our population is about 250,000 residents. So another way of saying that would be about 100 Washington State ferries full of passengers, 50 aircraft carriers with their full complement of crew, five Safeco fields filled to the brim, and one Indianapolis Speedway. First of all, what type of housing do we have inside Kitsap County? And a typical way we talk about housing, is it, is it a single family or is it multifamily? So we have single family units that are homes, individual homes. We have single family units that are attached, like townhouses or row houses from the East Coast. And then multifamily units, which would be things like apartments. So in general, you can say that we have approximately 80% of our homes here are single family and about 20% are multifamily. And that's a general, general estimate. The next important thing that's interesting to look at is when were our housing, houses and multifamily and single ha family housing built? And you can see the years on the graph. You can see that the Great Recession definitely impacted the number of new residential construction. You can see the year 2010, very few new homes were built at that time. And there are, of course, still some older homes that were built back in the 30s and, of course, before that as well. Now, what's the typical number of bedrooms inside uh, a home? And this, again, could be a single or multifamily home. And this data from the United States Census gives us some estimates. So you can see that a typical home will have four, five, and six rooms. And that, of course, would include bedrooms as well as dining or living rooms and kitchens and so forth. Another really interesting thing is how long have people lived in their home? So when did people move in? And that can be important because when we look at the, the um, social interaction with people and how long people have lived there, how well do they know their neighbors, if they've lived there a long time, typically they know more people in the area. So you can see here by the chart on your screen when people have moved in and therefore how long they have lived there. And there are some people, of course, who've lived there for many years, all their life and so forth. What about housing value? How does Kitsap County compare to the state? as well as the United States. You can see here that in general, the value of Kitsap County homes is higher than that of the rest of the state of Washington, as well as the rest of the United States by looking at the dark bars. OK, another really interesting bit of information we have about housing in Kitsap County is how much do people pay for rent on a monthly basis? And you can see here from the chart on your screen that uh, a typical amount of rent would be around $1,000. And you can see that it, it varies um, from the low end to the higher end of $1,500 or more. Another interesting fact about housing in Kitsap County is how do people heat their homes? Now, we know that in the old days, a lot of people use coal, but that is not used to any degree anymore because of the cost of shipping coal is very high. You can see that most homes in Kitsap County are heated by electricity and then gas. And you can see the rest of the items on your screen. Other types of fuel include wood and solar. Thanks so much. It was great sharing with you. Look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.